Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Work and energy. This session is for conservation of mechanical energy. When we apply conservation mechanical energy, the condition is no friction force. That means in ideal situation, no friction or friction can be ignored. And no applied force, that means no push and no pull. Only gravity doing work. That means the object position will change on vertical. So gravity doing work. So when we apply conservation mechanical energy, that means all the time, the total mechanical energy conserved. So we can write initial kinetic energy plus initial potential energy, you call final kinetic energy and the final potential energy. So the kinetic energy we can write into 1 over 2 m v initial square and the potential energy is mgh initial equals final kinetic energy which is 1 over 2 mv final square plus mgh final. So let's Look at the question. A roller coaster travels on a frictionless track. It begins moving from rest at the top of the first hump, which is 10 meters above the ground. So this one, first hump is, is ground, 10 meters above the ground, and it then travels along three humps that are five meter and a two meter and a six meter above the ground, so respectively. So what is the speed of a roller coaster when it reaches the top of the 6 meter hump? So let's say this is a roller coaster. Start from rest. So if we label this point at the top of this hump is A, this is a B, this is a C, this is a D. So VA you call it zero. It start from rest, just sliding down, right? And passing through travels around three humps, so up and down, and they reach the third, the last hump, which is six meter high. So we are looking for what is the speed at this point. So we're looking for V. D, because <coughs> this question is is exactly follow the condition of conservation mechanical energy. So frictionless track, so no friction, and it's signed down and no pushing force, and the gravity doing work because. When the roller coaster down the track and the gravity doing work, right? Doing positive work, then up and the gravity doing negative work. So it's swing down a little bit and faster, getting faster when down the track, when up the track, it's swing down again and then down the track getting faster 
and slowing down and getting fast. So that's why this is uh, follow the condition of conservation mechanical energy. So we can write at this moment the total mechanical energy we can write E at A point is kinetic energy plus E at the A point potential energy. And equals to at this point is E B K plus E B P. This is kinetic energy at this moment, it is potential energy at this moment, and it equals to E C K plus E C P, and it equals E D K plus E D P. So the question is looking for <coughs> the speed when reach the six meter high hump because at the point A the total mechanical energy you call point B you call C you call D so that's why we can just pick up at the first and the last right because they are all equal and also we given at the A point and start from rest. So this is equal to zero. And this is 10 meter mgh is given. And at this point, and the height is given. So we can find the velocity at point D. So let's solve this question. So we can write E at point A K plus E at the point potential P equals to E D K plus E D P, right? You still can look at this picture, right? So then we can write this is zero because stuff from rest. So this is MGHA equals one over two M V D square plus M G H D. And we're not given the mass of roller coaster, but we can see they all have mass, 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 so we can cancel out just the divided m for each term of both sides of the equation. So cancel m, 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 and then we're looking for this one, looking for this one. So we can manipulate the formula. We have vd equals, move this one to the other side, and also G is a common fact, we pull G and we have HA minus HD. And also this is 2, 1 over 2 multiply to the other side, then square, that means square root. Okay, then we can find VD equals square root and plug number in. 2 times 9.8 meter per second square times HA is 10 meter subtract HD is 6 meter and we can got the answer this is <coughs> 2 times 9.8 meter per second square Multiply, this is a four meter difference. So using calculator, we calculate two times.
2 times 9.8 times 4 equals a square root. We've got 8.85. 8.85, we choose 8.9 meter per second. Because this is a two sig figure. So that's why when the roller coaster reach to the six meter high per hump, the speed is 8.9 meter per second. Okay, this is presented by Wise guys, thank you.